Well, we found that too often the initial decisions about placing children into care are made on the basis of what placements are available and what placements are affordable and not putting the children's needs at the centre. We also found that too often children and young people are not properly consulted about the kind of placement that they want to go to. That, of course, results in young people being put in the wrong placements, being needed to move too often. I spoke to one young person who'd moved 11 times in seven years and you can imagine how destabilising that is in terms of education and well-being. So our recommendations to the, to the government are clear. We need to invest in the service for looked after children. We believe that if you invest in getting the initial placement right, you stand a much better chance of a good outcome for that child. And the Fostering Network estimates that we need about 750 additional foster carers in Wales. Our report is saying clearly to the government, if we want to recruit and then keep those carers in our system, we need to treat them as a proper professional part of the childcare workforce. That means paying them properly, that means proper respite, that means paying people when they haven't actually got a placement with them so that there are, there are placements available when emergencies arise. A lot to be done, um, and I really hope that the government will look favour. The Welsh government will look favourably on our recommendations. The initial response from the deputy minister responsible is positive, but we need to turn that positive response into real action because, at the moment, that system of placing children initially isn't working well, and that's really letting down some of our most vulnerable children and young people.